What we've developed here is a very experimental proof of concept that hopefully gives an idea as to how audiences of the future might be able to control devices such as TVs just using their brainwaves. So seeing colleagues use it you know, first hand has been an interesting experience. It was really interesting. I didn't think it was going to be possible to be able to do it so quickly. I just didn't think it would work that easily. It's very easy. How, is that, how do you do it? <laughs> this is basically telekinesis. I'm literally controlling it with my mind. It's slightly difficult to describe, actually. It's a very odd idea, but yeah, it's good. I like it. That's nuts. <laughs> a lot slower than using a remote control. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, yeah. It's sort of, it, it very rarely you get to see your brain waves sort of visually, do you? When I was able to select the programmes, it was, it was brilliant. Um, it was just quite frustrating because I was trying to to time my thought control or my meditation technique in order to select the right programme. And so I kept missing the programme that I actually wanted to watch. I'm just thinking about at home when I fight over the remote control with my son. I'm just wondering if he's going to have a have a headset and we'd be effectively fighting brainwaves and trying to relax each other to, to control the TV, which could be quite interesting. We're always on the lookout for new technologies, innovations and emerging trends in the marketplace. We look at how we can bring third party innovation into the BBC and experiment to see what might be possible for audiences in the future. For this experiment, we work with this place to create an internal prototype that allows you to select what you watch on TV just by using your brainwaves. Hi, I'm Ben, one of the directors at this place and uh, along with Russell, our head of innovations, uh, we're going to demonstrate this uh, EEG device to measure the electrical activity in your brain which allows you to control the interface using either the metric of meditation or of attention. To do this I'm going to meditate by closing my eyes and focusing on deep breaths. Uh, my levels of meditation are displayed on the bar on the left hand side. And so now he's entered the app. And what we have here is a timeline which is allowing him to select one of these episodes here shown on the right, uh, which are the most popular on BBC iPlayer at the moment. So what he's going to do is wait for it to get to number three and uh, then he is going to just relax and uh, select the option. And so now he's entering into the video and it's starting to play. So, as you can imagine, this opens up a huge amount of opportunity. For a quadriplegic person, this would be an incredibly useful tool to give them a lot more ability to actually interact with an increasingly digital world. With my sort of level of mobility, I can still use a laptop, and, but I think you know, there are people with, with severe disabilities that don't have that movement and so this, this mind control technology can really help them in a way that they can't access it at the moment. It's an amazing concept and you know with the pace of technology I think that in the next 10 years or 20 years this technology could be fantastic. You know, I, I dream of the day of being able to just think you know that I want to start a TV programme and uh, you know I'm just using the power of my mind to do that without having to you know to use my fingertips.